back to my channel. If you have been following me here over on YouTube for the last four weeks, then you'll know that we recently bought a new home, which is why my background looks a little bit different in case you were wondering. I did a whole series on the top six houses. We narrowed them down, pros and cons, and eventually we decided to go with this one, which we absolutely love. We could not be happier. Now, having said that, I thought that the next video I would make would be an Amazon Home Favorites video. This is one of my absolute top favorite videos to watch. So I wanted to film all these different items that I got to decorate and just bring more warmth to the home. I love to do that. I'm huge on home decor and I can't wait to show you guys all these fun items that I have for you today. So if you watch my most recent video, I shared our house reveal and I did an empty house tour and I walked you guys through the dining area, the kitchen area. I shared in that video that the two light fixtures that the dining room and the kitchen had, they weren't my favorite ones. They were very nice to have that farmhouse look to them. However, I just thought that it made everything look very flat. It made it look a little bit more darker just because it had that shade that covered, it was black. It was an all black matte shade. So I wanted something that was gonna switch it up and just make it feel more inviting. So for the one located directly right where my kitchen is, I decided to get an industrial clear glass shade pendant light. I just thought that this looked a lot more modern. It made it look brighter because of that clear shade that's made out of glass. I just love that this one was on the more affordable end, but yet is such great quality and I love that it opens up the space. The next light fixture I ended up changing was the one located in the dining area. And I ended up switching to this gorgeous, beautiful farmhouse chandelier. It adds that rustic element and it just helps to make everything more inviting. I actually wanted a bigger light fixture in the kitchen area. However, once I found this chandelier, I knew that this was going to be the star of the show. I didn't want another big light fixture to kind of, they were gonna be kind of competing, right? It would look like it was too heavy and it would possibly make the room look smaller. So by choosing the smaller glass shade pendant light, with the rustic chandelier. I just feel like they both complement each other so well. And I love how it balances my kitchen. It just makes it feel more homey and inviting, which is exactly what I wanted. And this next house item I have here is by the brand Kusari. And it's a gooseneck matte black kettle. This is probably one of the best kitchen gadget purchases I have ever made. If you're somebody that hates to have things that are boiling, piping hot, or vice versa, if you're somebody like my husband, John, for example, he loves things to be super hot and I'm the complete opposite. I don't like things to be too hot. This right here gives us that perfect balance of being able to choose which setting we want, which temperature we want. It comes with five presets that you can choose from. So if you want coffee, if you want a green tea, or if you want a white tea, you can choose that. And also another added feature that I like about this is that if you are running to the bathroom or you need to go do something and this is already done boiling, but you don't wanna lose that temperature, you have a feature that lets you hold that temperature. Another thing that I hated about having an electrical kettle, which is what I had before, I don't know about you guys, but I always made such a mess. Every single time I would spill water all over the place and then I had to clean it up. I don't have to worry about that with this one. Because of this gooseneck style, it makes the pouring so much more precise and less messy. And honestly, it's just effortless. This is probably one of my most favorite kitchen gadgets that I've ever bought. I use it every single day. My mom uses it, even my daughter uses it. I'm really happy with this purchase. These next items make my kitchen look so pretty and so organized. So these are the bamboo lid spice jars. And what I love about these ones, they actually all come clear like this and they came with a different set of labels. These labels here, I didn't get from Amazon, I got them from Etsy. And what I like about these specific spice jars too, aside from it having that beautiful wooden bamboo lid top, it's the size of them. I mean, these are pretty big. I actually was looking at the other type of wooden 
spice jars, you know, the small little vertical ones. But then I like kind of thought about it and I was like, wait a minute, if I'm cooking and I needed to use the spices, I want it to be quick. I don't want something that's gonna take me a million years to have to pour out or it's gonna make a mess. So as soon as I pop open the lid, you can see that I have so much space to be able to quickly grab what I need. Or if I wanted to just quickly dust it over onto whatever it is that I'm making, then that's very convenient too. And they just look so pretty. Honestly, like I think that they add that pretty, organized dream Pinterest element to my kitchen. Okay, so these next items here are these amber glass bottles. So I purchased two sets of two different ones. The first set are these pump lotion amber glass. So they come like this. They don't come with the sticker, just so you guys know. These ones I also purchased at Etsy. This is the first set, like I mentioned, it's the one that's for pumping. And then the other set that I have here, it's these ones right here that come with the trigger spray. They also come blank without the sticker, but I wanted to get these ones to put all my all-purpose cleaner in here, my Windex, just to make it look a little bit nicer, more organized. trigger spray and aside from the lotion pump it also comes with a lid so you can use it for different functions for whatever you want DIY projects more cleaning products if you want to add essential oil in there the next item that I have here is this beautiful ceramic marble bottle I use this as my daily oil dispenser I keep my great seed oil in here but you can use it for different purposes if you want to keep your oil you can if you want to keep vinegar if you want to have it as a decor piece in your kitchen I just think that having something like this it kind of creates like a more elevated experience especially when it's time for dinner or it's time to eat let's say if you have some guests over just having this cute little marble bottle just sitting there I don't know I just think that it adds a very cute touch to it especially the cork I love this cork I think it's just so pretty and so cute it's a little bit oily right now so I'm just gonna put that back this next item I've had it in my Amazon cart for months and months and I've been waiting for it to go down in price and it finally did this is the cotton duvet cover set in the color pumpkin so it comes in two sizes the king and the queen the one I have here is the king size this is what it looks like right here the most important thing to know about this is the quality of this fabric it's super soft and it looks so pretty and it's a pumpkin color but it also has that like cinnamon terracotta color too with Christmas just being around the corner I actually think that this is a very nice gift to give someone although once you feel it I highly doubt that you're gonna want to give it to them next I want to talk about my cooking utensils that I use in the kitchen and it's these ones right here so this comes in a set of seven or eight I believe I'm not sure I think I might be missing one I absolutely love them I have used these to cook many different types of food I have not had a single issue with them they don't feel cheap the quality actually feels really amazing I love of this gray charcoal color I have a lot of black and white things in my kitchen like my cabinets are all white the hardware is black so I didn't want to get something else that was also going to be black or white I wanted to switch it up just to add little hints of different colors throughout the handles they are this natural beech wood type of handle goes great with the decor in my kitchen I would say just be careful with these they are pretty delicate in the sense that you want to make sure you're taking care of them so do not submerge them in water for very long you can hand wash them but absolutely do not put them in a the dishwasher otherwise you're going to ruin the wood as it is a natural beech wood so you just want to make sure you're taking care of them so that they last you a very long time i've been trying really hard to minimize 
any waste or especially the use of plastic in my home. So whenever I find something that's going to help in that, then I try and do my best to switch over, even if it's something small. So here I have these reusable metal straws. I really like these ones here. They actually come in various different types of straws. So we have like the more straight straw and we also have one that's more bent. Comes in four different colors too. So you have the rainbow color, you have the rose gold color, which is my favorite. You have the gold and you also have the silver. non-toxic, BPA and lead free, which is something I'm always looking at too. But I actually like that you don't get a metal aftertaste. I hate that there are, I have tried certain straws that leave you with this horrible metal taste, which is not good. I don't get that with these, which is why I really like them. I love that you can switch out the colors too. It just makes it more fun that way. I almost forgot that they actually come with four of these cleaning brushes right here. Before I would always kind of stay away from the straws, regardless if they were plastic or non-plastic, because I would always think that they end up getting really gross after a little while, and then I didn't want to be drinking my liquids through that. But ever since I've had this, I haven't had a single issue with it building up any type of gunk or anything like that. So I feel more at ease whenever I'm drinking it just because I know that they are clean and just ready for me to enjoy whatever drink I choose. So I have these right here and these are the copper cup and spoon set. It comes with five measuring cups and six measuring spoons. The quality for these, it's absolutely incredible. They are very sturdy. They don't rust, which is great. They're of this stainless steel material with the outer copper look to it. Whenever I am cooking or I am baking and I need to use one of these, I think it looks so incredibly elegant and I love how elegant it feels while I'm using these. They do come with a 30 day warranty. So in case you decide to purchase them and you don't like them or they're defective or whatever reason you might want to return them, there is that option available. I no longer buy or use dryer sheets in my house for a couple reasons. Number one, I don't want to keep spending money in order to keep buying dryer sheets that I'm going to end up throwing away. And number two, the most important reason, I want to really minimize the amount of toxic chemicals that come in those dryer sheets or even fabric softeners. Instead, I found this great alternative, which is the wool dryer ball. So if you've never seen them, they come in this little pouch here. These are the XL size and they look like this. All you do is you pop them into your dryer. You can add two or three depending on how big your load is. And they say that it actually reduces the amount of time that it's drying your clothes. If you are big on scent and you like buying these dryer sheets because they make your clothes smell good, another alternative to that is you can add a few drops of essential oils and then pop them into the dryer and it adds a very subtle, nice, clean scent to your clothes. I know it's not for everyone, this might not be for you. However, like I mentioned for myself, I try to do every little thing I can to just minimize harmful chemicals and it also helps the planet. So I think it's a win-win. One of the last few items I wanna share with you is actually located behind me on this wall and it's the flower canvas prints from Amazon. They come in a set of six eight by 10 prints. They don't come framed, which is okay because then you are able to add your own personal touch. I decided to add this beautiful, it's almost like a brass color. They're not silver, they're not gold. It can work in any space in your home. I have it right here where my living room area is. You can have it in your kitchen, in your bedroom, in your bathroom. And I wanna give a very special shout out to the one frame that's directly right behind me, which which is this gorgeous canvas right here. This one was specifically painted by my daughter, Eliana. So I showed her this Pinterest picture that I really liked and I wanted her to recreate 
create it. It's just so incredibly special to me and I think, to be honest, to me, it's probably the nicest and most beautiful painting that I have on my wall. So I just wanted to give a special shout out to my daughter. I absolutely love it and I think it brings everything together. And finally, my last home decor product that I wanna share with you guys today is my bamboo bathroom shelf stand. This is a great addition to your bathroom or any room where you feel like it needs more organization. It can be used for so many different purposes. You can place your toiletries on there. You can use it as storage. You can put your towels, your books, even your plants. So for all my plant lovers out there, this is another great option if you want to look for a really nice plant stand. I just love how it saves on space. It's not very bulky and it's not really small either. I think it's the perfect size. You can move it around to different areas of your home wherever it's more convenient for you. So those were my Amazon home decor favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.